Welcome to the Panther Sports Preview. Last week, your Panthers played in some wet conditions. Let's take a look at how they did. The D1 hockey team took on Western Michigan Stallions this week. Phil Windecker led the team with a hat trick as they won 4-3. The Panthers traveled to Ohio this week. Women's Rugby took on Eastern Illinois University, beating them 38-0. Gabby Forez and Daniel Ordway each had two tries apiece. They take on Grand Valley State University this Saturday at 11 a.m. The men and women's bowling team opened their season at the Midwest Invitational. The men finished second overall while the women finished eighth. They traveled to Adrian this week. Women's hockey battled it out against Adrian. They lost 3-5, but Chantel Kahar got her first hat trick of the season. They traveled to Marquette this week. Men's rugby traveled to Cootstown, Pennsylvania. They lost 15-45. They dropped to 1-1 one and, one and they traveled to South Bend this weekend. Women's golf finished 5th out of 8 in their 3rd Jamboree. Alex Mers got a career low of 85. This week they travel to Ohio. Women's volleyball took on University of Northwestern Ohio winning 3-1. Marcy Dehan led the team with 17 kills. The Lady Panthers will take on Rochester College this Friday. Men's soccer had their first home game, winning 2-0 over U of M Dearborn. This Wednesday night, they have a home game against Aquinas. Women's soccer continued their WAC campaign as they beat Marigrove 5-0. The Lady Panthers traveled to Aquinas this week. The men's D3 hockey team traveled to Alabama to play in the Civil War Showcase, where they dominated and won all three games. This Saturday they are home against Oakland. Men's tennis played in the Grand Valley State University Invitational. The men won both single A and double A titles. Cross country also had a meet taking on University of Louisville. The men's team finished 8th out of 38th with Dustin Brummel finishing with a time of 26:49 Thanks for watching. Don't forget Midnight Madness is this Thursday at 9.